everybody, James Shepard here with this week's edition of the Merchant Sales Insight. Definitely make sure you go over to ccsalespro.com slash insights. You can check out all of the ones that we've done. I don't even know which edition this is. I've lost track, but we've done a lot of them already. Uh, a lot of fun doing these. This week, we're talking about building your own ISO and more specifically, building up your own brand. Now, when I got into the business 13 years ago, this was kind of a pipe dream. You know, the idea that I was going to be able to promote my own brand is something that just really didn't even come across my mind. I was like, hey, I'm selling for this processing company. That's the brand I'm going to promote. But as I started to build it out, it was obvious to me that, hey, I want to build a payment processing company. I want to build a business. And the first one I did that was like 13 years ago, 12 years ago, it was frankly uh, a mess. It was very frustrating to do because it was like, okay, how do I do this? Well, I have to register my brand, first of all, uh, which is very expensive and time consuming. Then I want to get my brand on the statement. Um, but then anything I outsourced to my upstream um, full service provider or FSP, whatever I, I you know sent to them, well, then it wasn't branded anymore, right? So when my merchants actually called into customer service, well, it was the name of the other company, not my company, you know? So I had to explain all that. Well, why isn't my logo on the, on the application, right? Why is the underwriting process through this other company and not my company? And so the solution to that was to build out, you know, I remember at one point having, uh, I think we had 30 or 40 full-time employees that were doing support and underwriting and all these things. And um, frankly, that can be a good thing if, if your goal is to kind of control everything. But for most of, of those of you that are watching, uh, especially if you're just getting started and building out your, your brand, you really don't want to do that. You really want to focus all of your effort on selling merchants and you know building these relationships. And you need to be able to outsource all this stuff. And so um, this week I partnered with Maverick Payments, one of my favorite processing companies. And one of the things that they do that I think is so cool is they have this whole branded experience where you're able to outsource all of these things. And so your brand is on the statements, you know, um, without even uh, registering the brand in some cases, you're able to do branding on the statement, on the application, um, a dashboard that's branded, the merchant experience is branded, the support is even branded, you know, all of these things, they've covered everything and they have all these digital workflows and all that. And, the, and one of the other good things about it is rather than, you know, paying per seat or paying per agent, that sort of thing, like you would with a software solution, um, in their case, they provide it because they're getting a piece of the residual. You know, it's a, kind of the normal model we're all used to in the industry. Um, and that's their revenue driver is payment processing uh, revenues, right? So um, I think if you're really considering it, I would caution you against jumping in and saying, okay, I need to hire a bunch of support people. I need to implement this solution and that solution, and everything else. Take a, a broader look because the truth is there are a lot of good um, companies now. There's a lot of good technology out there. There's a lot of good processing companies um, that really can help you to scale up your ISO in a hurry um, and, and make it a lot easier and less frustrating than it used to be. So we've come a long way. So my challenge to you today is to ask yourself a couple of questions, right? Number one, um, is this the right time? You know, think about where you're at. You know, what do you want to do? Now, for many, many, many of you, this is not the right time to do this. For many of you, you do need that established brand that's backing you up, right? And, you know, you're not ready to take on operational responsibility. You want to just sell and be the agent, and that's great. But for those of you that say, you know, I'm starting to see a business opportunity here. I want to build a payment processing company. What's the first step? Well, the first step is promoting your brand, and that is easier than ever. So if you're at that point, you say, yeah, that's me, James. That's where I'm at. <clears throat> Again, let me encourage you to take a broad look at the industry. Look what's available. One of the ones that I think you should definitely look at is Maverick Payments. Talk to them about how they can work with you to scale up. Um, you go to maverickpayments.com. Uh, just like it sounds, it's maverick, uh, M-A-V-E-R-I-C-K, payments.com. So check out maverickpayments.com reach out to them, let them know that you heard about them on the Merchant Sales Insight. And again, if you're looking to promote your brand uh, without all the cost and the, the operational craziness of it, I mean, you just want to start building out a brand, reach out to Maverick Payments to learn more about that. Um, and I wish you great success. If you are building out your ISO, um, I'd love to talk to you as well. Um, you know, I'm always interested in networking with people in the industry. If that's you, uh, reach out to james at cc.salespro.com. Just let me know. Hey, I'm I'm starting to promote my own brand. Love to get your thoughts, and I'd be glad to jump on a quick uh, call or Zoom session with you. My name is James Shepard. Thanks so much for taking time to watch and listen to this. Again, if you want to get the full uh, Merchant Sales Insight, it's much longer than this, and it has a lot more detail about uh, building your ISO out. Go to ccsalespro.com slash insights. You can download the full PDF there. You can listen to the audiobook version um, of it as well. Thanks so much for taking time to watch and listen. Have a great day.